hi friends uh, today i am going to teach you uh, the most important thing uh, with the income tax filing so many of the users i have seen that they are facing the problem while they are registering their their digital signature so here i am going to show you how you can register your digital signature either for personal or corporate users or a company so once you, if you register this is a normal uh, problem uh, which i'm going to show you so uh, anywhere either it's uh, uh, income tax filing or either it's uh, or it's provident f filing so any account like pf it uh, to file this one for corporate either it's for college or it's for company or either for individual user so you can use the digital signature to digitally sign and file your income tax so the general thing is there you can see there uh, generally in any of the website either is pf employee provenant fund or uh, res or income tax filing you have the call something registered digital signature certificate so you have two option either you can sign in with your dot pfx file or you can sign in with your usb token so once if you have purchased the digital signature which is registered by MCA and uh, or any other um, third party which is authorized according to Indian government rules so you have the PFX file or you have the USB token so here I'm going to show you with uh, sign in with USB token when you click uh, just wait you will get a uh, application blocked by security setting so this error will appear and uh, just click when you can see the more information it says that uh, some of the problem with the your uh, java installation so its security has blocked so you can see here if you click the you can see the details this is the error you are going to get so now the thing is that once you get the error that means on your java 7 or the latest version is not updated on your pc so to update that what you are going once if you install the java 7 or any version on your pc you will see the error something like uh, download file your uh, document setting java gre uh, 1.6 or 1.7 msi is corrupt so this will be in the location of your uh, user account in application data which will be hidden there so just you uh, give the uh, see the hidden folder and go to the uh, application data sun and java or GRE you can see there is this file is giving the error even there is a second kind of error uh, while upgrading your Java setup uh, online installer uh, once you download and you will try to uh, install you will get the something error while installation so to resolve the Java issue uh, yeah, we have seen that uh, we are facing the uh, Java update on your PC so what the thing you are going to do go to google.com or directly type www.java.com slash en slash download slash manual dot jsp so the thing is that uh, to download the manual file uh, you can uh, use uh, www.java.com 
uh, backward slash uh, en slash download slash manual dot jsp so once you open uh, manual dot jsp file you can see there there is the uh, we have the windows offline 32 bit and windows offline 64 bit so you better know about your uh, what is your configuration of your pc if you don't know you just contact with your uh, system admin and get to know that uh, what is the uh, windows you are using either is 32 bit processor or 64 bit so just click on the uh, windows offline installer 64 bit you can see there it's uh, the downloading process starts so once it's finished download then you should install so once downloaded just click on the file uh, you'll see the setup screen just uh, hit on next uh, just select the third party installation next and uh, just wait for a few uh, seconds your installation will be completed so even once installation completed you will get the same kind of error so now we are going to resolve the digital signature certificate error which is we are getting either it's on e-filing or either it's employee provident fund filing or any such issue so once your J java has installed successfully you will get a screen to check your java is updated or not so once your java installation completed uh, finish it uh, for either windows 8 user or uh, windows xp or windows 7 uh, all the users have to do the same process uh, just uh, go to your settings go to then control panel when you when you go to control panel uh, there is just uh, search the file name with the java so you can see here you have the file name java open it just click on that it will get open so you have the several options general tab java tab security and advanced so you can see there general java security advanced so what we are going to go do uh, we will use the security tab so wherever you are get, getting uh, such exceptions which we have just shown to you like you are getting you just see the details so you are getting the uh, this java plugin error that is the exceptions coming so just copy the url that is whatever the url https or whatever given on the page you are getting the error just copy that go to the java control panel and click on edit site list so once you open you can see there uh, the pop-up window will appear where you have to add the url where you are getting the error so after um, pop-ups comes click on add just paste the complete uh, link where you are getting the error give ok give ok so once done then you reload your page so might be the session will get expired so again you log in it so again after login just go to again your digital signature page to register now you click on you will get a security warning so you just click on i accept the risk and want to run this application click on run so now you can see there the java applet which we are getting the error now it has been resolved so now select your token so already you know that uh, your token either it's the pfx file 
or if you have inserted the USB device which I have shown you this is the we are going to sign in with the our USB token certificate so if you select with the PFX it will ask to add your PFX file just wait for a few seconds it will get reload your Java applet so you can see here it is asking to select your dot pfx file certificate so you can choose any option whichever you prefer so once you uh, click on uh, select your pfx token you can see there the So once you select the token, uh, your uh, token will be accepted and your digital signature will be registered with the so wherever you have uh, registering your digital signature either it's uh, with the employer provident fund or income tax. Uh, for more update please watch. Uh, youtube.com slash user slash those two web our channel channel name is those two web so thank you for watching